White's objective here is to kill black here in the corner. So when you see this pattern right here, you would want to try this move because now white can clamp and number three and connect back. Black cannot stand down because these two stones will just be captured. And of course, after white pulls back one and three, there's definitely not enough eye space for black to make a living shape. This is definitely not enough. So that's why black can only play this move. Or you can save this, but this is not as good as playing here at number two. Now the ideal situation would be for white to simply reduce black's eye space, and now black is dead. Once white stands down here at number seven, if black tries to make an extra eye here with number eight, white can connect with number nine. Black cannot prevent one and seven from connecting. And of course, if black prevents one and seven from connecting, white can destroy this eye on the outside. So this will be ideal, but this is not the correct variation. Why is that? And that is because number four can actually be here. It's very, very easy to miss. Now, black is still threatening to cut white on the outside. If white plays something like this, Black can play this, forcing white to play at number seven. And now black can cut. And number three will be cut off because white cannot Atari this way. Number three will be cut off and become a real eye for black. And now if white connects here, black can play this move, forcing white to stand down. Otherwise, black can live this way. And now black can actually live because one and seven cannot be pulled back because of number four's position on the first line. So what should we do now? Actually, we just need to switch the order. We bend here first. Now black cannot play here on the first line. Now if black plays here, we'll just push through and connect. This is already not enough eye space for black. So when black plays here, now we play this move. With one, three, and five, white can succeed. Compare this to right here. Now if white pushes, Black can block, white connects. Now black can live this way because of the exchange at one and two. White must stand down here and black can make an extra eye here. Or if white plays on the outside, black can live this way, two real eyes. So that is exactly why white needs to bend here first and then play at the two-two point. So again, sequence matters a lot as we've seen repeatedly throughout this book. And that is partly what Go is all about. Playing the correct sequence makes a world of difference. I hope you enjoyed this pattern and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.